And if I took a loss, I'm a boss in my hood Whoa. I'm sounding like I'm boss in the hood Double cross me, I leave you on the cross in the hood I'm good, I got new money What's good, my peoples? Please follow my socials. They are tagged down below. Also in the description box. If you have any questions about these shoes or any other shoes that I review on my channel, you might want to hit me up on one of my platforms, preferably IG. All right, with all that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, this right here is going to be a real verse fake. Sorry, I took a couple of days, but I had to get some other reviews out the way. But on the left, we got the retail. On the right, we got the fake, all right? This is the Toro Bravo Air Jordan 4s. All right, but the retails is the 9.5. The fakes is the 10. Not going to be too much of a difference, all right? Remember, these joints came out in 2013. It was July 13, 2013. They retail for 160 all right? Um, matter of fact, yeah, they got the tag right on the box, 160 Boom. Let's take a look at both of them. See if you see any differences. They had just recently dropped a new fake, like an updated version of the fake. So I did want to show y'all, just in case, just in case y'all out there trying to buy a retail pair or, you know, for other reasons or whatever. I do want to show everybody, keep everybody included, everybody up to date. You go to two labels, y'all could tell me if they if you see differences or not. Me myself, I think the retail is bolder. Look at the six hundred three in these numbers right here. Looks a little bolder than these right here. You know what I mean? Maybe you can't pick it up on the camera. Maybe you can. I don't know. But that's what I see. The numbers, I don't know. It's a different number. So I don't know if they're exactly the same or not. All right, let's not spend too much time on the box. Box, it is what it is. Nine and a half is a smaller box than the 10, but it's not even really too much smaller. As you can see, these came from East Bay. All right. If <laughs> those of y'all that's real new to the sneaker game, yeah, that was a foot site. So we have Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, East Bay. Um, they don't have East Bay no more. They had East Bay magazines back in the day. Um, no East Bay store. See, every other place had a store that we're talking about. Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs. But East Bay never had a store. It goes online or the magazine, stuff like that. But that's just a little trivia for you. Let's keep the left the retail. Let's keep the right the fake. We will keep the same shoe. A lot of people want to see the same shoe. The left shoe and the left shoe. But remember, the retail is on the left. The uh, fake is on the right. Let's zoom in. Boom. Uh, check it out. <clears throat> see how close or how far apart these joints are. All right, now the back heel tab, this one is lower. During this time, the heel tabs was definitely low. This one is higher. Remember, it's a half a size bigger, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference. But, and these are used too, by the way. These are used. It is what it is, man. If you don't like this review, I don't know what to tell you, man. You feel me? But, this one right here is a whole lot, pause, stiffer. More tough to flick that back. And then this one. Now, yeah, they both snap back or whatever, but this one is a lot tougher than that one. So, for what it's worth, you know what I mean? Take it for what it's worth. All right, now, as far as the stitching back here, you, you can see a difference clearly. This one just seems more uniform, more clean. This one is a little, eh, you know what I mean? As far as the jump man, they look, to me, they look exactly the same. Except one is more sale, one is white, because it's old, new, old, new. You know what I mean? Heel tab up here, they look pretty much the same. These speed bumps, they don't. They're more rounded, more roundish right here, smooth. This right here got sharper edges and uh, probably like a little thinner than these. This one looks like it's more, a little bit thicker. Right, as far as the tongue goes, the... This tongue, I guess it sits a little higher. And I do have a, another pair of these fakes from a couple years ago where the tongue is higher. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. But I can only 
show you what I got here in front of me. I can go get the other one real quick, but mm, let me see. Let me let me see. From the front, it don't look too much of a difference, so I'm not going to waste my time. But we got the Air Jordan on the back of the tongue. I, now the texture of the back here is totally different. You can see this much more fuzzy on the tongue. You don't see really any lines like that. This right here is smooth. It's not fuzzy like that. Alright, so that is the difference. The tongue is also feels thicker on this one. You know what? Let me go grab the other one. Give me a second. And this is, let me put the old fake in the middle. Let's take out the insert. Old fake in the middle. This tongue is too big. You know what I mean? It goes from like the regular size to too big to a little bit too short. So you're never going to get everything 100% correct. But as far as like behind... The tongue, this one looks more accurate behind the tongue, even though it's still a little bit of a difference, but, and as far as the thickness of the tongue, the thickest, then the next one, then this is the thinnest. That's the way it goes, all right? And let's take a look at the heel tab while we at it. This one is a little bit lower than that. Speed bumps also look wrong. Stitching also looks like this one. So these two match up. This one just, the red, the red of the stitching look a little bit different. The black paint on the midsole look pretty much, you know, kind of the same all the way through. This one's just a little bit more shiny. These two are more matte. All right, um, take a look at the front. I don't want to do a three-way collab, but I'm just going to show you the tongue as far as the tongue. See, I'd rather, if you're going to go this way, this tongue to me is just too big. This one is perfect because it's retail. That's the way it's supposed to be. This one's a little short. If I wanted to go with the fake, I'd rather go with this one. This one is just a little bit too big. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Cage-wise, in the front, these two cages look pretty much the same. Um, yeah, they look pretty much the same. Laces, all that. See, now what? This one got it wrong. You see the waffles right here? See, I got that little side action right here. That's all the new fours that got that. But when these came out, see, it didn't have that. So these right here, it went back to the, you know, OG. So let's take these, uh, these other fake ones out of here. Let's just keep it between these two right here. As far as the flight patch on the tongue, it looked pretty good. Look pretty good. Y'all let me know if you see some differences. The hand looks a little bit different. But other than that, it looks pretty damn accurate to me. Color gray. Jump in, everything, the flight, everything looking Gucci. The tongue, you can see some black coming up from the from the front side of the shoe. Same thing here, just not as much. Um, the laces do look the same, same texture, same, you know, that's accurate for the laces, and that doesn't happen too often. Um, like I said, the cage, that, that looks pretty, pretty on point. Remember back when this came out, the cages didn't move, right? So this cage doesn't move it as well, so... That was pretty easy. Side view. This cage. This cage looks bigger than this. Yes, it is a half a size difference, but you know, I don't feel like the cage should be that much difference off a of half a size. That's just me. Let's take a look at the stitching under the wing. That looks pretty good on both of them. Right? As far as the cage right here, you got one, two, half a cage, one, two. I mean, they're pretty much the same. Looks good. The waffles, like I said, the gray look good. The red look good on point. Um, obviously, the bubble is going to be different because one is super old. At least the those pods in the inside, they do look the same. It's kind of like a sail. Beige, tan, whatever you want to call it. They do look accurate. Um, let's take a look at the inside. Inside action, remember, always on my Instagram, we will have still pictures side by side. It will be a little easier to, you know, look at both shoes, which one is real, which one is fake, and how to, you know, the shape and all that. It will look a lot better on pictures, trust me. So if you want to check it out, go over to my Instagram, go check that out. Um, look at this. Um, the paint on here is like kind of sloppy on the retail. So to me, the gray is different. I know these are used, but the gray is definitely different. 
I mean, it's like night and day. So that's something, you know what I mean? I mean, you walk on them a couple times, they get dirty, so you be Gucci, but brand new, totally different, the gray, all right? Um, now we gotta go to the internals because, I mean, let's take a look at the toe box, though. Retail on top, the retail toe box is thicker than the this new fake. Around that time, there was not sleek toe boxes, so that's what you gotta look for, and that's what it is, all right? You know, whether you like it or not, that's what it is. Now these, did they come with, even with a shoe tree? These fakes? Now these fakes didn't even come with a shoe tree. All right, but the retails, they came with the the good old stick and shoe tree that has like this and with the paper underneath it. And does it have any writing on the bottom? Nope. So that's what the shoe trees used to look like. Let's take out the insole if we can. Since it's used, it's a little tougher to take the insoles out. Uh, it's sticking. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to take the insole out and break everything. But we do see a blue stamp. We do see white stitching. Let's check these fakes out. There's no blue stamp, it's red. You see the white stitching. So that look a little different. Now let's take a look at the size tag. Now right, you see those numbers, we wanna pause it, take a look at that. Put that side by side with these right here. If I can get it. It's a little tough, it's not that easy. Pause that, compare that. <laughs> it's hard to get them numbers, man. I'm sorry, I can't get it perfect. I apologize, that's the best I could do. So I see the SZ and we got an SZ on this one too as well. So I mean, they, they look, to me, on foot, I don't think anybody's gonna tell the difference for real, for real. Like, 100%. It's crazy how far these things have become. They look very, very accurate. The color, the shape. I mean, besides the toe box being different, it's it's a hard tell. A hard tell. The cage, too, as well. Like I said, the cage, smaller on the retail. But it's a half a size difference. So maybe that's what I, I don't know. I don't know, but they look pretty damn accurate. Let's hit it with the black light and call it a day. Because these joints is looking too on um, point. Let me see. Turn off this light. And let's check it out. All right, so like I always say, the black light's not always going to do the, um, do the thing for you. But um, sometimes it will. And as far as the piping, right here, you can see like an orange piping. And on the fakes, you do see the orange piping as well. You see the Jumpman glowing up. The flight is a different color. This is more like a burgundy. This one, you can still see it red. So that is the difference. The cage look like it's bright. The same thing, the stitching in the front looking like it's the same thing. Um, there's no guidelines guidelines is like what they use to piece the sneaker together to kind of know where the, each panel goes and they don't have that the, the jump man is definitely glowing on the fake one right here in the back on the right this one is not that could be due to it being dirty or whatever but it's a difference Let's see the inside look at the red insole it looks bright Look at this red insole. It's, it's not looking bright. So that could be a difference right there. You could tell with the black light. And that's really it. There's nothing really else this black light is doing for you. Let me see these lace tips. All right, look. See how these lace tips, they're not glowing on the fake. 
Look at these retails. Going to green. All right. I don't know if that got to do with age or whatever the case, but that's clearly a difference. So sometimes the black light will help you in certain cases. Sometimes it won't. But I hope my review did help you in some sort of way. Or if they look so close that you don't care and you're going to go that route. I mean, it is what it is, man. If I helped you out in any way, please let me know in the comment section. Support your boy. Follow my channel. Follow my Instagram. Do all that good stuff. It's free. You heard? Promise y'all. It ain't going to cost you nothing, all right? But you already know the vibes. I love y'all. Thanks for rocking with your boy. You feel me? The love is real. You know I love y'all back, man. At the end of the day, rock what you like. Not because it's hype. Stand out and never blend in. Highlight me till next time. You heard? 100.